Hey, how you doing? My name is Darius Falk, and I'll be talking about Jasmine's Awards, Salvage the Bones. This book was my favorite book out of all the books that we read in class, and I'm going to explain why. This book is about a poor African-American family that stays in Mississippi. Um, there's three boys and one girl. The oldest is Skeeter. He's like the replacing mother of the family. I'll get into that later. And you have Randall. He's the athlete of the family. He plays basketball. You have Ish, I believe. That's how you pronounce it. She's the woman of the family. She's the younger sibling, the sister. And then you have Junior, the baby of the family. And you have a father that's just drunk all the time. And I'll explain why later. So basically, excuse me. This book really, it's a short book, honestly, but it's a good book, in my opinion, because of the way Jasmine has, like, her word, her word choice really, like, helped me get closer to the characters quicker, just so, like, made me have a feeling for them and, like, go empathy, like, have empathy for them, have sympathy for them, all of that's the good stuff. Um, as she's like the main character of the story. She's a 15 year old girl who later discovers that she's actually pregnant. So it's a lot of controversy with that. Skeeter is the oldest. He's like, he breeds pit bulls. So their mother had passed, giving birth to Junior. So he kind of like expresses motherly ways to the pit bulls. Like throughout this book, I can like sense that he's a good parent. Like he takes after his mother's instincts. The father, he just get drunk all the time. That's his way of coping with losing his wife, you know, the mother of his kids. So he tries his hardest. He's tough on them, and he's always drunk. But I just feel like that's just because that's his way of coping. Like, everyone has their own coping mechanism, whether that's, like, Skeeter, pit bulls, the father, uh, drinking, Randall, playing sports, or uh, S, just trying to find out what type of mother she's going to be. This book, although it's very, like, short, this is, like, a really good book to read, honestly. This book really, it touches on every aspect. And it's, a, like, basically, this is over a two-week period, so about 12 days before Hurricane Katrina. And after, like, Hurricane Katrina, I didn't, I expected more of a, like, a bigger impact, or, like, feelings towards all the characters but really they was like more happier after the storm and that kind of like threw me off a little bit i still don't understand why but i keep reading to try to understand why they didn't really react the way i expected them to react usually after a storm you gotta recuperate you gotta get your house back together you gotta get your mind back together because that's a very traumatizing thing to go through but in this story it just it seems like they just kind of brushed it off a little bit um, a few scenes that really stuck out to me, though, I could say was um when Skeeter was like really how close he was with his dog China. That really stuck out to me the most because he almost treated her as like she was his daughter, you know. Like of course most people do that with pets, but this was a strong and tight bond. Like he was always with her. No matter where, no matter what the situation was, he was always with her, always looking after her, always protecting her, you know? And I feel like that's what his mother was to him. So because he lost his mother, he had to re-show that into, like, the dogs and stuff. But the father, although he's not really, like, mentally there, he still tried to be there for the family. Like, for instance, he was preparing the house for the storm. You know, like, any other worthless alcoholic wouldn't really care about the storm or like keeping his kids safe. That's why I said, I just, I don't think he's a bad person. I just think he's just going about his wife's death in the wrong way. Like Mississippi around this time, a lot of racism, a lot of controversy, a lot of conflict. And it's a lot of that in this book too. And um, this book is very emotional, but it's very like heartwarming too. There's some scenes in there where you was just like, you'll get emotional, you'll get sad. And there's some scenes or you'll be happy. It's just like oh, all over the place. And that's why I really like this book because it's not it's not plain, it's not stagnant. She moves around, you know, it's short, but she moves around. She keeps everything thorough. 
she expresses feelings through characters. And like that's one of the main things she really does. She expresses feelings through characters. And I took a lot of information from this book. Like the main character was a female, but she was a young female, you know? So I kind of like, I have a younger sister, so her, and like not saying she was sneaky, but the acts that S has done in this book made me like realize that your younger siblings are really a reflection of you. Like they look up to you a lot. So whatever you do, they will eventually do. Like for instance, she was having sex at a young age because she thought it was cool. You know, her mother, you know, so it's kind of, it's kind of touching, but it's kind of weird because now it's like, I put myself in Skeeter shoes, not even Randall shoes. I put myself in Skeeter shoes because he's the oldest and I'm the oldest for my younger sister. So it's kind of like, I gotta watch what I do, watch what I say. I gotta be a better role model. And that's really what I, something I also took from this book. Overall, the book is great. Like I really do like this book. Like I actually read it like during times when I do anything. Cause it's just so, it's a good book. Like for this to happen over just two weeks, like just imagine how this book would have ended if she like did the whole month of the Hurricane Katrina. And yeah, uh, I really like this book. It really touched me a lot.